In this video, we are going to ask you some question based on permitted variation or deviation in dimension of new rails. The end straightness of prime quality class A rail is measured by the standard straight edge of how much cord and that is 2.0 meter. The end straightness of prime quality class B rail is measured by the standard straight edge of how much cord and that is 1.5 meter. The permitted deviation in end straightness of prime quality class A rail when measured by the standard state edge horizontally and that is 0.5 millimeter. The permitted deviation in end straightness of prime quality class B rail when measured by the standard state edge horizontally and that is 0.7 mm. The permitted deviation in end straightness of prime quality class A rail when measured by the standard straight edge in vertical upsweep and that is 0.4 mm. The permitted deviation in end straightness of prime quality class B rail when measured by the standard straight edge in vertical upsweep and that is 0.5 mm. The permitted deviation in end straightness of prime quality class A rail when measured by the standard straight edge in vertical down sweep and that is 0 mm. The permitted deviation in end straightness of prime quality class B rail when measured by the standard straight edge in vertical down sweep and that is 0 mm. The permitted variation in overall height of prime quality rails and it is 0.8 mm to minus 0.4 mm. For example, for the 52 kg rail, the range will be 156.8 mm to 155.6 mm. And for 60 kg rails, it will be 172.8 mm to 171.6 mm. Because the overall height of 52 kg rail is 156 mm and for the 60 kg rail it is 172 mm. The permitted variation in overall height of industrial use rail is 2.0 mm to minus 1.0 mm. For example, 52 kg rail it will be 158.0 mm to 155.0 mm and for 60 kg rail it will be 174.0 mm to 170 mm the permitted variation in width of head of prime quality rails is 0.5 mm to minus 0.5 mm for example 52 kg rail 67.5 mm to 66.5 mm for 60 kg 60 even rail the range will be 72.5 mm to 71.5 mm and for 60 kg 60 UIC rail it will be 74.8 mm to 73.8 mm. The permitted variation in width of flange of 52 kg prime quality rail and it is 1.0 mm to minus 1.0 mm. For the 52 kg rail, it will be 137.0 mm to 135.0 mm. The permitted variation in width of flange of 52 kg rail, industrial use rail, is 1.5 mm to minus 2.0 mm. For 52 kg rail, the range will be 137.5 mm to 134.0 mm. The permitted variation in width of flange of 60 kg prime quality rails and that is 1.2 mm to minus 1.0 mm. For example, the 60 kg rail, the range will be 151.2 mm to 149.0 mm. The permitted variation in width of flange of 60 kg industrial use rail plus 1.5 mm to minus 2.0 mm. For example, for the 60 kg rail, it will be 151.5 mm to 148.0 mm. The permitted variation in thickness of wave of prime quality rails 
it is 1.0 millimeter to 0. Point, minus 0. 0.5 millimeter for example for the 52 kg rail the range will be 16.5 millimeter to 15.0 millimeter for 60 kg rails it will be 17.5 millimeter to 16.0 millimeter as thickness of paper 52 kg rail is 15.5 millimeter and thickness of 60 kg rail is 16.5 millimeter the permitted variation in thickness of wave of industrial use rail and the allowed variation is 2.0 millimeter to minus 1.0 millimeter for example for the 52 kg rail it will be 17.5 millimeter to 14.5 millimeter and for 60 kg rail it will be 18.5 millimeter to 15.5 millimeter 